Guénadi euh, est maintenant euh, chercheur euh, associé euh, à l'Institut quantique ainsi que professeur associé de l'Université de Sherbrooke. Euh, donc, euh, il a été également euh, professeur euh, visiteur à l'Université euh, du Sud euh, en Russie et euh, Karlsruhe, euh, l'Institut Karlsruhe euh, de technologie euh, en Allemagne ainsi qu'à McGill. Donc, ces, euh, ces euh, intérêts en recherche euh, essentiellement euh, touchent les, les phases, euh, l'étude des, des, trans, des transitions de phase quantique dans les systèmes fortement corrélés à basse dimensionnalité. Et ça s'étend même jusqu'à la cosmologie euh, en relation avec euh, les neutrinos et euh, la matière sombre dans l'univers. Donc, euh, on est heureux de de l'accueillir pour euh, ce séminaire euh, qui va porter sur euh, euh, l'ordre non conventionnel et la désintrication dans les systèmes à basse dimensionnalité. Donc, euh, je te laisse la parole. Merci, Claude. Est-ce que vous m'entendez? Ça va? Merci beaucoup pour, euh, euh, de m'accueillir ici euh, et pour l'invitation de faire cette présentation. Euh, ou, comme Oh, I, I have to speak English. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, thank you. I, I think um, uh, the institute and, and department for inviting me to, to spend some time here and to give opportunity to, to present this work. Uh, the title, as you see here, so I will repeat it in English, non-conventional orders, modulation, disentanglement in uh, low dimensional quantum systems. Um, I, I was basically preparing this talk uh, while my former advisor and uh, colleague, uh, Paul Nikolai Shimon, passed away a few days ago. As you will see, uh, probably half of the works which will be cited in this talk um, are done in uh, collaboration with him. And um, the latest part, even like which I will be presenting later, is not yet published. So mm. uh, I... Um, I hope uh, the way we'll uh, finish our work, we'll present the paper, uh, is probably the way he would love it. Uh, and I will miss him terribly. Um, as um, here, the uh, uh, our team, uh, my collaborators, uh, which also include uh, uh, my student uh, at Laurentian, Taplal, and uh, exchange student from India, uh, Karun Gaj, who is now a PhD student at uh, University of Göttingen in, in Germany. And um, I would acknowledge the support latest stage from um, Institute Quantique and Réseau uh, Québécois de Matériaux au Point. So the outline of my talk is as follows. So uh, the main uh, uh, motivation will be basically uh, concentrating on the the fundamental goal of this research and um, uh, especially the, the point I'm going to emphasize is the uh, generalization of a theory without uh, uh, conventional local order parameters so in the sense like uh, sort of a extension of the conventional down paradigm and, um, and then I will uh, basically uh, give uh, um, our results of different examples uh, quantum change ladders which basically illustrate the element of, of uh, this uh, theory and uh, especially uh, non-conventional uh, orders and also relation with some uh, topological parameters. The other um, uh, uh, line of uh, results related to the special uh, sort of transitions which are going under the name of disorder lines or modulation and I will also relate it to the uh, disentanglement in the quantum um, ground state. And uh, also there is an interesting extension of the conventional ideas of the Fermi surface, uh, surface at finite temperature. So um, <clears throat> here I just try to summarize the, uh, what would be uh, the standard setup of the Landau paradigm, right? So, um, so what are the, uh, the key elements of, of the Landau paradigm, like, which is like the minimum uh, sort of minimal set of requirements? Uh, so we have a, um, it's a potential, which <clears throat> here I just give 
and this is always one, com uh, uh, one uh, component or the parameter. So, so at the uh, disorders phase, if we're talking about temperature, uh, thermal transition, uh, uh, there is no um, non-trivial minimum, right? The minimum is trivial, so that means that the order parameter is zero. And then uh, we go into the order phase at low temperature, where um, the symmetry is broken, as you see in this case, that's the important element. Oh, sorry. Uh, these uh, so-called spontaneous symmetry breaking. And um, and then we have uh, we have phi basically as the local order parameter. So and here I give some examples. For instance, it can be magnetic order, it can be um, uh, some density lattice distortions. Basically, pretty much uh, uh, almost everything which you can imagine uh, in one application or another serves as a or can serve as a local order parameter, right? So. Um, <clears throat> There is also important uh, concept of universality, which uh, uh, stipulates it uh, in the vicinity of transition. Basically, the critical indices are uh, not sensitive to the details of, of the model. They are just de determined by uh, dimension and um, alone or short range interaction and the uh, um, dimension of the uh, other parameter space. Right. So <clears throat> here's just uh, just few examples. Right. So mm, uh, as a as a counterexample, the model which uh, basically evades the standard paradigm, in a sense, uh, I, I'm, I will I will be uh, using uh, um, Kitayo model, as you see that it basically mm, formulated on the hexagonal lattice, but you can even simplify it uh, just taking one. Mm, uh, layer basically these slides and these slides are just equivalent by just uh, distortion so even if we take one layer of this kind of brick wall uh, which will be ketile leather we still have uh, the same um, quality to feature which can be illustrated so here i'm using the results of the uh, fan Zhang and xian from their excellent paper the full reference is here so um, what happens? What happens in this model? The the key feature. So here we have the phase uh, diagram on the um, in the ground state at zero temperature. So like leaving aside the details, which are the axes related to these uh, couplings, right? So there is a cross section in the in the uh, plane of couplings, and uh, there are three uh, gaps phases, and there is a gapless phase, as you see this white triangle in, in between. The key point is here. Uh, in this model is that basically we cannot uh, describe those ordered phases in terms of the um, sort of ginsburg landau action built out of uh, sigmas, right? Out of the spin uh, degrees, of, uh, degrees of freedom. So there is no magnetization. There is no uh, conventional order which uh, can be identified with those phases. In particular, when we uh, go from uh, phase to, to, for instance, gapless state or from gapless uh, to another. So we have a closure gap, uh, reopening gaps, but but no apparent order. So what was shown by uh, Fan and collaborators is basically when they, they took uh, they took just a, a ladder, a um, single layer of this brick wall, and they have shown that basically by using uh, duality transformation, uh, Jordan Victor, uh, duality, of course, from spins to fermions, and then um, <clears throat> uh, introducing non-local orders and, and kind of a secondary duality from uh, fermions to new uh, spins, uh, what can be found that uh, those uh, phases, they are in fact char characterized by string order, string order parameters in terms of the original mm, uh, uh, spins or in terms of uh, um, Jordan Wigner Furman's or it can be written as Majorana Furman's and also by uh, going into these uh, additional uh, uh, dual spins as you see here this can be seen as a as a local order in some dual language so those are those are basically the key concepts right so here are some more details so we can you can see um, this order parameter, unfortunately, yeah, there's what confusion. It's not the gap. It's uh, usually it's, it's order parameter. So you see, like when we, we cross a critical point, there is one order parameter vanishes, the other reappears in another phase. So those two phases, gap phases, are distinguished by uh, this non-trivial order. 
for the two-dimensional honeycomb uh, model, uh, the, these ideas um, actually needs to be generalized and they're they discussed by Nusinov and Chen in 2008 when they introduced um, uh, brain order, uh, which I will discuss later in order to uh, deal with the uh, full-size two-dimensional model, right? So, um, so there are these uh, steps which I really want to emphasize. So, so there is no conventional order in terms of the regional spins, but uh, if we go into another language, to another representation, like like a ferment here, for instance, this uh, Gordon, we got them uh, via Jordan of transformation. Then we can uh, introduce other parts related to these uh, non-local uh, operators in this language, and also um, we can um, map once again to some. Uh, uh, dual models where this non-local order becomes local, right? So basically, uh, the the lesson we learn is that there is no uh, there is no kind of uh, uh, impenetrable wall between th these orders, right? So there, in a sense, I would say probably something similar to coordinate uh, to direct and reciprocal lattice, right? So we work in the one space or another, uh, but uh, uh, but the the uh, view of order is local or non-local. It's related to the uh, choice of variables, right? So in a sense, it's it's not uh, absolute uh, parameter. So as I give, of course, more examples where uh, we know that mm, conventional uh, Landau paradigm runs into difficulty. I will just you see here. I will not basically go into detail because it's. Uh, well known. The the key point here, which I want to emphasize, is basically we have this kind of fork, right? So uh, there is a line of thought which states that mm, basically Landau paradigm is gone, right? So we need to replace it with something new, and then then uh, there are some mm, uh, parameters related to like let's say topological theory, like uh, topological number, Berry phase. Uh, entropies of entanglement, concurrence, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which uh, are supposed to uh, replace Landau paradigm. Landau paradigm is not work. The other line of thought, which I'm kind of pushing and advocating, is that in fact <clears throat> uh, we can we can we need to uh, amend Landau C by incorporating non-local orders. But uh, but as a matter of fact, it's still there. Like uh, order parameters, spontaneous symmetry breaking. Uh, critical indices, universality, everything can be recovered. And, and those parameters basically serve as a complementary picture, but uh, basically I can live without them. That's my uh, uh, basically uh, motto, right? So, so that's the big question we're going uh, to discuss today is, um, so if uh, uh, conventional theory uh, is not working, so what needs to be uh, in place? Uh, basically, I'm partially started to, to answer this question uh, looking at the previous slide, right? So, uh, so the, the idea is, of course, uh, to deal with this problem by looking, uh, in a, in a, try to look from the most general point of view, right? Without uh, making any bias to a particular choice of uh, uh, variables or or uh, operators, if I'm thinking about spins, strings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, what is what what uh, what we um, need to know basically is the fundamental unifying properties. So, the uh, critical point, uh, let's say thermal uh, phase transition, is essentially the zero of partition function. That basically goes back to those uh, classical results by Yan and Lee. And I also recommend the nice textbook by Juan, where, where this point is very nicely explained, especially for students, right? So, um, <clears throat> so the uh, oh, the um, zeros of uh, partition function, um, if we are able to find those zeros in the uh, in the range of real parameters of our Hamiltonian microscopic parameters. They correspond to the thermal phase, phase transition, and uh, taking the uh, T zero limit, we basically get uh, quantum phase transition, uh, conventional phase transition. If uh, um, there is also another thing that basically, if uh, we find uh, the zeros of uh, 
partition function in the range of complex uh, parameters of physical microscopic Hamiltonian. Then they will be identified, uh, they can be related to the disorder lines or modulation transition, and also they are related to the disentanglement if we're talking about the ground state problems. Right? So the disorder lines uh, were um, first studied and, and the term itself was proposed by Stevenson back in the 70s. Uh, what actually um, uh, we were, were doing recently is basically uh, uh, unifying this and, and uh, in particular we we basically demonstrated that disorder lines are a special class of zeros of partition function, right? So this is uh, one thing, right? So we're looking at the zeros of partition function and uh, their special cases, right? The other thing which needs to be generalized, it's uh, the idea of order parameters, right? So uh, as we discussed, there are some mm, mm, uh, conventional uh, local orders, which we are well you know, familiar with from early days, uh, like magnetization, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. For instance, I show here. So, in this uh, new framework, we need to um, to add um, the other um, parameters, non non local order parameters like strings and uh, brains. Like here, I, I give an example of. Uh, sort of a, a, a simple uh, brain uh, on the example of two ladder where uh, basically the idea is that, that um, the parameter we calculate, the correlation functors we're going to work, they are not related to a single uh, operator like, like in the local order when we have a, like a sort of sigma uh, um, defined on particular node. No, we have a, uh, we have a product of operators which reside either on the screen or in the area. In two dimensional, of course, we, we can just go into full size 2D in, in both directions. But uh, normally we, we would start with the, um, for instance, um, <clears throat> uh, from border to border in one direction. And then we keep, uh, for instance, left, right, ends uh, as a correlation function. And we'll look at the correlation function as a uh, function of, uh, left right ends in the, in the sense that it's very similar to what we have for uh, for the uh, correlation of uh, function let's say spin spin or something else right so and um, and the other point which again we'll be uh, using when possible is basically sort of a um, bonus uh, uh, we can uh, try to find some duality transformation some uh, new transformations which can map those non-local orders, like, like brain string orders onto uh, uh, local order in the kind of canonical and our sense. And uh, this is, um, for this case, I don't have a general recipe. I, I, I have basically, I will show a few proposals, few examples where it's done in practice, but uh, I still, um, I don't have like a theory which, uh, uh, can be uh, uh, used as a sort of a, like a, a cooking book where you open and say, okay, put this, this is, and then you get it. At this point, it's still kind of, uh, I would say, uh, rather the, the state of art rather than uh, machinery. Okay, so uh, so just to illustrate those points, uh, let me just mm, show this uh, very simple model, uh, X, Y model in transverse field, which was uh, mm, in the recent literature, uh, named also Kitai Chin because that's where he, uh, in 2001, he discussed topological properties in the fermionic representation. But the point is that those are uh, dual equivalent models, right? So you can start from fermionic and if you prefer uh, Jordan Wigner uh, fermions, conventional fermions, this is the formulation. Uh, most um, useful in particular in the application calculation will be uh, a representation of this Hamiltonian in terms of Majorana fermions, which are self-adjoined Fermi operators, like kind of real imaging part of the operator, if you wish, right? And, uh, <clears throat> and by uh, Jordan uh, Wigner duality, uh, we can always map this uh, spin and fermionic language, uh, uh, fermionic Hamiltonians onto each other, right? So basically, these are two equivalent representations. I don't want to discuss this model. It's basically uh, a standard model. Just uh, here, I illustrate my uh, kind of uh, uh, terminology and uh, the way we 
um, deal with this problem, right? So <clears throat> here I will uh, present some results for the model, which is um, uh, uh, modulated or perturbed X, Y, but uh, 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 less known. Luckily, it's still a uh, model of free fermions. So it means that it, it can be solved and it's solved exactly. Uh, the uh, All the parameters can be found exactly, but uh, contrary to the uh, model where I just discussed, where it didn't have um, demerization and uh, alternation of the field, uh, it has very rich uh, diagram, right? So here you see there is an isotropy, which is similar to X, Y plus, we included uh, demerization of this chain, <clears throat> sorry, chain and um, uh, the field, uh, transverse field has two components, uniform and staggered or alternated mode, right? So if I uh, uh, map it um, onto fermionic language, onto fermionic model, this is uh, the quadratic uh, Hamiltonian. So it can be viewed as a kind of time binding Hamiltonian with uh, uh, dimerized hoping, right? So here um, it's similar to uh, uh, SSH model, right? Uh, uh, then uh, uh, anisotropy gives us anom oh, anomalous terms uh, like CDAC, CDAC. And uh, this is what would be like uh, modulated uh, chemical potential um, if uh, we um, uh, start with, from uh, fermion again. So, right? Those models are quite often uh, studied in literature. Right? So, um, the um, uh, because, because this is exactly so, a model can be done, uh, everything can be done exactly. So we can easily find the analytical formula for the zeros of partition function of this model, right? So here is the result, basically. Those are Matsubara frequencies. So, uh, so those are, uh, uh, these are the uh, conditions for, if we find the real uh, root uh, for the thermal phase addition. It can be shown that there is no uh, uh, there are no roots, which is in agreement with general knowledge, right? There is no uh, thermal phase transition in this model, right? Uh, when we take a uh, zero temperature limit, uh, the, uh, this equation for the roots becomes basically, as you see, the equation for the zeros of the spectrum of the model, right? So, mm, so that's how we can uh, uh, recover and find the uh, phase diagram of this model, right? So uh, uh, what is what is interesting in this model, right? That's basically um, <clears throat> is that uh, that it 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 has two types of order. So it has a conventional order, as you see, this conventional magnetiz magnetization uh, like um, m x m y. So that's a conventional uh, average of of a spin operator, right? But uh, demerization in alternated field uh, uh, resulted in, in the appearance of new, what we call this topological phase, such that this phase exactly falls uh, into the category I discussed in introduction, right? So it doesn't have conventional order, it doesn't have uh, any local order. But what we see, however, that um, if we look at the spectrum, so this. The gap here, the gap is here. So the gap is closed and on this line, right? On this circle. Uh, so it just uh, called conventional quantum phase addition, of course, uh, this uh, known um, uh, gapless uh, intermensual states, which uh, as, uh, free fermionic states, uh, if, if we include, for instance, interaction to this model by using uh, sigma z, sigma z term or uh, Majorana Fermi, that would be, uh, uh, Lattinger uh, liquid state, right? Um, anyways, so coming back to the exactly solver non interacting model, right? So uh, we can uh, calculate the order parameter, order parameters here. And that's what I was uh, saying that we have, uh, like, if we follow uh, different paths, like, for instance, if we go this line, we see that, uh, oh, sorry, this, in this direction, right? So this uh, magnetization. Uh, vanishes and then uh, the string order uh, reappears, right? And if we go another direction, another way, we will cross like MX, topological, 
order and um, uh, another m y state, right? So here the uh, we can also calculate um, why the numbers to uh, they are shown, and basically they are related to the uh, Majorana zero h states, which uh, exist in this model, right? So um, so let me just. Uh, introduce everyone in mind a little bit those technical issues related to the phases which we uh, identified right so um, the scene order parameter the idea and definition of the scene order parameter due to uh, Denise Romelsi uh, this is um, the uh, prominent uh, uh, extraordinary paper in, in 89 uh, we use the uh, slightly modified um, definitions of the order parameter, which uh, uh, I, um, I, I can find as the earliest paper by Pierre uh, Giamarchi and collaborators. And uh, this is very slight kind of stylistic differences and definitions. But fundamental idea is, of course, due to Denise and Romelson, right? So we introduce string operator. As you see, it can be written in terms of uh, sigma operators here by giving example z, but it can be like x, y, and also uh, it's written as a, um, a scene of uh, Majorana counterparts, right? So whichever uh, we use it, it doesn't matter. And um, and the string, string string correlation function defined in the form. So this is basically a, a finite size stream, as they discussed before, and the function basically is a function of left, or left right. Um, and so because of this model has uh, um, modulations of two types and, and, and um, the correlation function is not just a, a function of difference, let's say right minus left. It has, it's sensitive to whether we have like even odd uh, left, right. And so the, uh, basically the limits, have, there are three values, right? So here, uh, that's why you have like OZ1, Z2, Z3, but they're both, hmm, have the same fundamental property. They are uh, uh, non-zero in this topological phase and they vanish outside of this region, right? So here we plot uh, kind of average of, of those uh, operators, right? Um, <clears throat> so uh, a technical issue. So how we deal with these non-local orders? Uh, but as a matter of fact, local and non-local orders, nah, they mathematically map onto the same problem because mm, as you probably know, uh, um, the uh, correlation functions, like for instance, for all these classical models, which we know from textbooks like X, Y, Eisen, uh, different versions of uh, uh, free thermionic models, which have uh, 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 spin counterparts. Uh, like say, if we have uh, exactly free thermionic um, Hamiltonian, then all the correlation functions are basically um, given by the um, toplets matrices and, and the correlation function is the determinant of this matrix. Right? So for instance, for this particular model I'm talking about, uh, there is a slight complication because it's not just conventional toplets matrix, but it's uh, uh, block matrix two by two because of the uh, periodicity related to the alternation, right? So um, <clears throat> The elements of this matrix uh, are the uh, Majorana correlation function, correlation function of two Majorana operators, which are basically uh, calculated in a closed form for a given Hamiltonian. So the, the technical issue is, of course, to calculate those topless determinants. And here we have a trouble because in some cases we can easily use Sega theorem and get results, which we know in some cases it's not so straightforward. So we have to resort to uh, numeric. Numerics, right? So this is, uh, for instance, you can calculate in mathematics and usually like 100 by 100, uh, you get in mm, very decent mm, uh, decent value, right? So that's what uh, the technical issue, right? But once again, a local and non-local order parameters, they are uh, they're given by the same um, technically, uh, but the same problem of the same technical uh, level of difficulties, right? Uh, now, <clears throat> Uh, now let me um, elaborate uh, this approach a little bit more by going into the case uh, which is not exactly solvable and uh, where I need uh, to use more kind of sophisticated uh, non-local orders. Right? So again, the model is just a little bit more complicated, just uh, instead of uh, 
in the chain, as, as I discussed, uh, we just take um, a two leg uh, uh, a ladder. And, um, um, and again, to have a uh, re richer diagram and have more properties, interesting properties, we used uh, uh, dimerized ladders. Right? So the, there are two patterns of dimerization in this case. Uh, um, since I don't have a whole lot of time, I will just concentrate on one particular pattern. So there are some uh, interesting questions related to uh, criticality in phase diagrams, in um, uh, different patterns, but I will, um, uh, I will uh, leave it um, um, not outside of, of, of the discussion, right? So uh, here it is the Hamiltonian, right? The original Hamiltonian in terms of spin operators. Right? So this is standard uh, uh, ladder Hamiltonian um, uh, with the uh, exchange modulated exchange is uh, follows here, right? So what we can uh, uh, we, what we can do here, we can um, uh, write a, a, a journal Wigner transformation. So we map this Hamiltonian onto the um, uh, fermionic Hamiltonian of Jordan uh, uh, Wigner fermions. Step number one. Uh, but um, as you probably uh, know, uh, uh, this Hamiltonian, in fact, is interacting, right? So yes. Yeah, so uh, so the uh, the Hamiltonian is interacting Hamiltonian. So what we did here, uh, we treated this model in the mean field approximation. So um, just uh, uh, to uh, address possible concerns on the validity of the approximation, uh, it's not in the, in the current work, but we had uh, some work um, about ten years ago on the on the mean field um, analysis of the um, of those ladders, uh, just without any isotropy with the gamma zero, um, and oh, sorry, because those models were uh, studied um, quite actively by um, DMRG people. And we, we have shown that this mean field basically is very accurate, even um, numerically, quite close to the uh, boundaries of, of, of the phases, phase diagram, which is known from numerics. So, so the, uh, I'm quite confident that this uh, mean field is, is uh, solid enough. So I will, uh, of course, jump, uh, skip all the technical details. So what, is, what is crucial here is that, um, we map uh, the original spin Hamiltonian onto effective uh, uh, fermionic Hamiltonian, where of course those couplings now uh, they involve uh, some, some fancy uh, uh, complicated expressions related between Baer and renormalized, and there are some uh, equations which need to be solved self consistently as usual in order to determine parameters of the Hamiltonian. But this is kind of a uh, standard question. Well, uh, standard problem. Uh, the, mm, <clears throat> the structure of the Hamiltonian is, however, very mm, nice and can be uh, uh, simplified further. So we used, uh, we used this path, as you see here, in order just to get rid of uh, uh, extra index, um, uh, leg index, basically just in a way like we mapped uh, uh, the uh, ladder on the chain, just because it's easy to uh, deal with this uh, in, in in calculation, right? So the the Hamiltonian, if I uh, if I write this Hamiltonian in terms of uh, Majorana operators, I can show that um, those uh, these Hamiltonian can be written as a sum of two decoupled uh, Majorana operators, which reside on like. I would say like even in what side of this dual axis, right? So that's what, uh, so I, uh, let me, yeah, let me go this way first. Um, yeah, so um, so this uh, Hamiltonian, which I've shown uh, in, in terms of uh, conventional uh, journal Wigner ferments, in fact, this Hamiltonian, again, this is effective now, mean field, right? So I just, for simplicity, I dropped, uh, R, R, R indices. So we have to understand that these TR, like hoping gamma and delta are 
now the uh, renormalized parameters which needs to be uh, need to be determined self consistently but the structure of the hamiltonian is uh, this quadratic majorana right and and also um, so it it it, it has this z2 z2 symmetry which i will discuss later and basically i can uh, write uh, down a, another set of uh, duality transformations in fact for even uh, separate for even an odd sector of the hamiltonian so it will map uh, on the um, transverse chain uh, xy chain of these dual hamiltonians but with uh, um, alternating external fields so so that's important point to when I, i'll discuss all the parameters right so now uh, now uh, uh, if if we go back to the original uh, spin language um, i can introduce brain orders right so the way uh, we discussed them before here's uh, some visual uh, solutions so we can of course because of the um, structure of the areas you know you can understand so we can have uh, <clears throat> brain uh, operators uh, which we we'll call them even and odd with obvious uh, distinction. One uh, even brain operator includes um, even number of spins because of the complete runs. And for instance, odd will just uh, cut one uh, spin. Uh, well, and of course, we can always have uh, um, 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 like these odd uh, operators which are related to the one shown uh, on in the figure by just flipping uh, left right up down um, right so and then um, <clears throat> we can uh, also um, uh, uh, define in the in the same way uh, as i define correlation functions for uh, string operators we can define brain brain correlation functions which i visually shown like here right so we can have uh, now the brain operator is defined from the left uh, far end of the ladder to some ryan uh, position uh, and then the correlation function the brain brain correlation function is basically those uh, um, uh, th this is a visual representation of different correlation functions which we'll encounter right so those analytical representations so now the the, the point is that uh, when I use uh, my um, I start with the original uh, spin operators brain brain correlation function then I do this mapping uh, to Jordan Wigner uh, with uh, a leg index. Then I will map it into this uh, snake-like path uh, with my run affirmance. And then those brain-brain uh, brain correlators can be related to the um, correlation function of these dual variables. Right? So, uh, but those correlation functions will be local correlation functions in terms of this um, um, uh, dual Hamiltonian, which like even an odd sector which have like said, some tau and mu those are Pauli matrices but those are Pauli matrices which have some fancy long lens relation to the original operators right so uh so the phase diagram of this model is shown here for the uh for the uh, staggered um, phase and, and again it's very rich and 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 it's nice because it includes uh, conventional orders conventional magnetization and those brain orders of different type, right? So, um, <clears throat> and uh, these uh, uh, these brain operators, the three different brain operators, they correspond to the uh, those um, different uh, type of brain brain correlation functions. We have uh, either like both cut or or, or those uh, etc. The details can be found. It's not really uh, crucial. To understand what I'm talking about, so there, there are some different types of, of, of these operators, but those operators are uh, actually uh, uh, related by some conventional local order in terms of the dual language, right? So, so we decide uh, uh, simple magnetization, which basically is pretty straightforward in terms of original spin. Those string orders uh, or brain orders, sorry, they are. Uh, basically related to these uh, z2 z2 hidden symmetry break in terms of dual Hamiltonian in terms of new language or tau language and uh, they are identified in this table right so we have these uh, uh, relations uh, 
And also we calculated uh, different, um, uh, we, we calculated topological numbers, any numbers for, uh, for, for all these phases, as you see in the table. So we can basically uh, say how many uh, Marana H states can be found uh, in, each, in, each, uh, uh, in each phase. And here there are those, uh, on the phase diagram, there are those uh, visualizations of, um, um, of uh, order parameters if we go along different paths, right? So we have this topological order, which closes to in order, then there is a conventional order, then again topological if we go like different directions, right? So here we are. Uh, the other interesting thing related um, <clears throat> uh, to, um, to this problem, right? So I need to, again, uh, explain a little bit technicality. So, so what, uh, what we do here is essentially the same uh, uh, level of difficulty as um, uh, to, to write those uh, order parameters as I explained for the uh, free fermionic model. But there is one important step, of course, that now my correlation function, my mm, components of the topless matrix, and they are um, functions of renal matrix parameters, right? So basically, uh, for a given set of microscopic values, I have to run. Uh, self-consistent mean field equations to determine renormalized parameters and then calculate uh, uh, those uh, matrices, right? So that is a generic algorithm uh, uh, for, for both uh, type of demerization. What the good news here is that, that for this particular demerization, in fact, I don't need to do it because uh, we figured out some duality transformation such that those uh, strain order parameters where calculated those two press matrices were calculated exactly. So in the sense that, like, uh, in fact, we, we didn't know, uh, we didn't need to calculate it because uh, they are basically done, they are like, you can find a McCoy book. It's for X, Y model, they are known with some uh, modification because they are known for con conventional X, Y model. Here there is an alternated uh, uh, magnetic field, which can be dually uh, transformed into the normal field, and then you, you get the relation functions basically from the textbook. So we have a simple algebraic formula of sort of polynomials uh, in terms of renormalized parameters. So, so that's very good. But for the other phases, uh, it's not so complicated, uh, so so nice. So it's more complicated. But uh, this is uh, uh, what uh, what we have, right? Also, uh, since I mentioned the winding numbers, uh, the winding numbers, again, uh, we mm, wrote uh, uh, the conventional formula uh, for the winding numbers as de defined in textbook in a slightly different way. So, so we uh, basically, uh, we have shown that the winding numbers, mm, um, the expression for the number, winding numbers are again related to the roots of the um, spectrum. In fact, uh, roots of zero spectrum are the zero, zero uh, temperature limit of the um, zero partition function. And what we can show also that the winding numbers uh, can change only when uh, one of these roots uh, cross the unit circle. And that is the uh, condition for the quantum phase addition. So basically, um, leaving the details, mm, mm, there are some references. So the um, uh, this is uh, rigorous, right? So basically, the winding numbers can change only when we uh, cross, yeah, like a zero temperature limit, we cross the uh, uh, line of quantum uh, criticality. Okay. Um, any questions here? Okay. Uh, now there is one. Um, um, <clears throat> aspect which I which I wanted to discuss um, and I mentioned this is uh, the uh, uh, related to the mod modulation transition. So here uh, I'm just coming back to the model which I discussed before mm, uh, this uh, modulated XY model and uh, and we discussed the uh, phases the quantum phase transition of this model. So the diagram was here as I've shown you. But now we look at a, uh, at a slightly different uh, level of the problem. It's more, more, more general. So we're looking for the uh, complex roots. And those complex roots are related to the uh, modulation transition or, or disorder lines, right? 
Um, so, um, so th then uh, uh, the previous case, which I discussed, they correspond to the real solutions, and now we're looking at the complex uh, complex solutions, right? So, so this phase diagram now is uh, uh, is enlarged, right? So it, along with the uh, uh, quantum phase transitions, which are shown here in bold lines, which I discussed uh, a few minutes ago, now we have these uh, lines of. Uh, Mm, disorder, uh, uh, disorder lines where the um, uh, roots of spectrum become complex and the correlation functions require oscillations. Just for those who probably remember this uh, textbook result again, in the limit uh, of no uh, modulation, no alternated field, this standard XY model in, in the textbook, like for instance here, it's known from 60s, right? Uh, there is this so called oscillating circle, uh, basically, it's quarter, right? So, like this. Uh, inside the ordered phase, there is no uh, topological phase. It's again, it's a very simple model, but it was shown by, uh, uh, by uh, uh, Lee Proust Martis and, and McCoy and Calbarius in the 60s, 70s that this uh, is the uh, uh, disorder line which borders. Um, uh, be behavior of correlation functions were just power li like and they are modulated uh, with oscillations. Also, on this line, the ground state is factorized. So the ground state is what is called classical state of so disentangled concurrence is zero. Well, it was shown, of course, later a little bit. And this is, uh, and we have shown that this is also um, uh, the zero. In fact, we can uh, do it. We, we did it even in finite temperature. So this is uh, the the, uh, the line of complex zeros of partition function. Now, if I look at uh, for this model, I have I have this uh, uh, quite uh, rich picture. So and uh, what is interesting, what I um, what I have to say, right? So this correlation uh, function uh, has a cusp. So this disorder line is very weak singularity because there is no gap closure. It's only cusp in the, in the correlation function or inverse correlation function. And those are these uh, wave numbers of oscillation which uh, uh, pick up uh, uh, waves from zero to some pi over two when we enter those uh, green oscillating areas, right? So, and of course, if I, if I remove um, uh, the modulation, we will recover uh, with this phase collapse, and we'll recover this model, which I uh, shown this classical regal, 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 result from 60s, right? But what is interesting that um, that uh, in this model, and uh, here is one particular limit, the other limits I will not discuss, uh, due to time constraints. So this model, has, we have shown exactly that a disorder line is not identical to a disentanglement. Disentanglement uh, needs to be on the on this line where the um, uh, uh, complex zeros of partition function, but uh, it's not always the case because, oh, sorry, uh, because uh, disentanglement happens here only when the, we found the exact ground state, but uh, there is no disentanglement on, on another lines. And, and this applies also for some other cases, which I'm not showing here, right? Uh, <clears throat> so, um, so basically uh, disorder line, as a modulation transition, that's another way to state the same uh, result uh, related to the complex zeros of partition function. They are uh, related to uh, disentanglement, uh, vanishing, uh, for instance, concurrence. Uh, but, um, but this happens uh, only for some uh, particular uh, uh, regions or, or some particular digital lines, but it's not always true for for all of them. So here there's some visualization of these results, which I was talking about. So here the we, we calculated these, uh, for instance, string string correlation functions, right? So here where they, they don't have oscillations, when we cross this line, so they pick up oscillations. And here, this is the limit when we hit this uh, gapless state, this is conventional uh, power law decay, right? Oh, sorry. Uh, and what is interesting, it's also known six, uh, since 60, these papers, only one of the other properties of this factorized state is that the correlation functions are constant. And it's not only uh, factorized state, zero entanglement, but also constant correlation functions. And you see uh, these uh, points we just will illustrate, right? So the um, correlation function is, is flat constant. This is also 
related to the properties of the ground state. Okay, um, and the last point, uh, just as a kind of uh, um, um, curious bonus, which we ended up uh, for, to get from our analysis is essentially, uh, we, can, we can generalize the notion of the uh, Fermi surface to find a temperature related to the, uh, to the zeros of partition function, the zero lines in the way I discussed, right? So now if I take 2D through 3D Fermi's for simplicity, we just, we can take any spectrum basically. Uh, it, we can show for, for free Fermi model that those are the zeros of partition function, regardless of the spectrum. Uh, and uh, those zeros of partition function is in fact, uh, because this uh, equation for the for the zero, in fact, it's uh, the uh, zero of the inverse uh, single particle Green's temperature function. Right? So, um, so in the limit um, t goes to zero, uh, this equation becomes uh, becomes this. So that basically uh, defines the Fermi surface, conventional Fermi surface at zero energy. energy and this confirms basically, because this is the zero of, of partition function, this basically confirms the uh, classical result Lipschitz, which was basically emphasized uh, and uh, reiterated many times by Volovic, that uh, basically Fermi surface is a line of quantum criticality, gaplessness, right? So if we, if we think about these excitations measured from, uh, from the um, uh, Fermi energy, of course, right? So this, uh, this is a uh, quantum critical uh, uh, area, range, or line, surface, right? So what, 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 then what, what is uh, T not zero? Uh, if, if now I take uh, uh, the equation the non zero, just to be uh, more specific, we just take, uh, for instance, non-relativistic spectrum of uh, degenerate uh, Fermi gas. So then the, equation for the chemical potential is known, it's written here, epsilon f, of course, it's uh, zero temperature limit. And then we can solve this uh, equation for zero partition function at um, uh, final temperature. And similar to what I discussed there uh, in the previous uh, context, again, the uh, solution, it goes into the complex range, right? So, so uh, 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 the quantum critical point is uh, basically the solution in the real range of parameters here. This, uh, for instance, this modulus of the V vector, which is analytically continued on the complex uh, uh, plane. Uh, and here is the solution, right? So basically this is the uh, uh, solution for the real part and imaginary part, uh, which can be basically um, translated into the behavior of the uh, single particle correlation factors you see here. Those are roots with uh, smallest n, right? Because those are linear roots when n is its multiple frequency, n is equal to zero. So then uh, we can see that basically the wave number, the real part, the real solution we find uh, is temperature dependent. That is essentially uh, the scale of temperature dependent oscillations, which naturally can be understood as a uh, finite temperature generalization of the Fermi surface, right? And the damping the correlation lens is related to the temperature. This imagery part is uh, uh, and uh, it's essentially uh, De Broglie, I guess, up to some p pi or whatever uh, De Broglie wavelengths, which uh, uh, this uh, is the uh, meaning of those complex roots. Uh, so this. Uh, but once again, I just basically I probably forgot to mention that these complex roots, whether we're talking about the modulation transition in, in the chain or we're talking about these, uh, they are observables, right? So they're not just uh, uh, just a kind of pure uh, uh, game of imagination because they are seen in the correlation functions. I've shown you before and now just I, I pick up simple correlation function and I, and I show where these uh, complex rules um, are uh, seen, right? So um, uh, it's kind of inspired by uh, ideas of Volovic. We just propose uh, basically that we can uh, write this condition also uh, for the uh, topological number, uh, which uh, you see here, it's uh, related to the zeros of, of partition function. Also, of course, this can be written as uh, zeros of inverse 
uh, green function, temperature green function, whatever you, whatever you prefer, right? So, and then, um, <clears throat> and then it's very similar to um, change this number, to change this uh, topological number, you have to uh, cross uh, a line of a phase transition. Uh, it's, it's equal to one. So this basically either thermal or quantum phase transition, right? Um, and of course, as you uh, see here, I just wrote it um, for a particular model, but this can be easily generalized for any type by Newtonian because there is no, basically, uh, there is no restriction because the equation is very uh, general. So, um, <clears throat> so just to summarize, uh, so, so my uh, yeah, the fundamental point I'm trying to emphasize is basically this universal unifying um, view of uh, phase transitions, uh, thermal, quantum, or weak transition like like disorder lines modulation. A weak transition says uh, can be all uh, uh, rid of uh, zeros of partition function. Um, and basically what we I hear just give an example, some, some other models we discussed, uh, we, we studied before, oops, sorry, uh, before, like whether we have spin or phonic uh, language, uh, whether we, um, we have this transition with so-called hidden orders, which are non-local orders, uh, we can always uh, uh, do this uh, map and this harmonization, whether it's exact, or mean field or approximate it's another story, but at least uh, we can work out language. And uh, what is also useful that we can always find the duality transformation uh, that basically they reinstate uh, Landau paradigm in this uh, dual language, the way I just discussed for the case of ladders, because all those brain orders were associated with the uh, spontaneous symmetry break and with the uh, other premise and those uh, dual Hamiltonians, right? And of course, this is like uh, a, um, this line of uh, approach, um, this approach, the theory uh, need, need and can be uh, extended for similar Hamiltonians, right? And, and of course, uh, the interesting uh, thing which um, uh, we've been thinking recently about uh, some uh, uh, predictions related to observations, especially this. Uh, uh, these are the lines observations and these, because those translations, uh, those oscillations are also can be seen in the, in the behavior of each Majorana state in the change when we cross the disorder lines. So uh, I hope we will um, make more concrete this proposal for some experimental um, observations. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Merci, Gennady. Euh, Est-ce qu'il y a, je pense à la période de questions, est-ce qu'il y aurait une, des questions? Oui, il y en a. Uh, the question was, I can repeat, the question was uh, how this uh, um, partition function can have uh, uh, zeros because it's a sum of uh, E minus beta H, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so basically, um, what uh, uh, what you you have is there are a couple of things. I, first of all, you're looking for the uh, for the complex uh, solutions, right? Uh, and uh, secondly, uh, there, there is a there is always a thing known from from analysis, basically that the uh, if the series is not uniformly convergent, then you basically the limit is very sensitive. Right? So this, um, for instance, yeah, the, these um, uh, papers by Ali and Yang, uh, where it was, uh, I made mean, this. Yeah, they uh, calculated, for instance, the Eisen model in, in the magnetic field, right? Uh, so they made ex uh, uh, ex extension, etc. And then you, when you get the expression for the extension, when you then you look the limit when n goes to zero and um, whether there is a solution for 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 instance for real fields, right? So 
uh, there are similar. Mm, this is uh, what is Lian's formula. The other thing is basically going to complex temperature, which is called Fisher, Fisher zeros. And then you find the zeros, and then you're looking at the uh, limits. Right? For instance, for, for this model, for this model, uh, which you, uh, which I discussed, like for instance, uh, uh, where am I? Uh, uh, gosh. Yeah, uh, for, for instance, here, right? So, uh, so that's very simple because you have partition function E minus epsilon N, right? N is equal one to zero, forget about spin. So you have basically uh, sort of uh, what, cosine, right? Then you uh, uh, cosine and that's a product, right? Hyperbolic cosine. So this is the solution of the hyperbolic cosine. So, I mean, it's very simple. You don't, you don't need the intuition. Of, um, I forget sine and cosine, but, but the, the basically, right? And then, and then again, you look for the, uh, um, for the, for the root, right? Uh, so in, in, in the zero temperature language, because yeah, this is non analytical limit, it's really fancy, but it, it becomes the condition for the zero spectral. Otherwise it's, uh, uh, here there is some transition, but we, we did it for instance, for, for the other models. And then, uh, uh, um, uh, we did it for, with, um, Dr. Timonian, uh, we did a model, uh, si uh, simple Eisen, classical Eisen chain of this modulated field. And, and you can see that uh, we just, uh, we have a closed expression and you see the roots are there. Yeah. In the uh, thermodynamic limit. Uh, yes, hi. Um, hi, Gennady. So uh, you my question is, if you, um, if you do a duality transformation and in the dual picture, your order parameters are local. Does that mean also that your the dual model is non-topological? It's just an ordered phase. Uh, I didn't hear quite. Uh, what about dual model? It means that dual model is what I couldn't hear. Could you repeat it, please? Uh, what yeah. Is it does it does it mean that the dual model is non-topological? If if the order parameter in the dual model is local. Yes, because this is this. Uh, yeah, for instance, if I go here, uh, the model which we uh, discussed where it was. Uh, yeah, so in the dual language, it's it's just uh, it's just a a, a, a a simple order. But but this is this should not be surprising, right? Because for instance, if we if we go back uh, to the uh, 2001 paper, or one paper by, for instance, Kitai, right? All this uh, story, and I believe uh, mm, I forgot who uh, who basically emphasized this point. But anyways, uh, so original language uh, of Kitai model in 2001 paper, it was fermionic language, and then all this uh, Majorana affirmance, etc., etc. But in fact, we're talking about uh, about uh, the uh, X Y model. Right again, if I go to the uh, phase diagram, uh, phase diagram here, right? So this is magnetized phase MX. Uh, forget about the solutions, they're not relevant for, for my uh, point. And, and on this side, you will have MY, right? So those topological, uh, and, and, the, and here there is topological index one, here is minus one. So all this topological framework in the Kitai language, you see it because you're sitting in the uh, I would say in the unfortunate <laughs> choice of basis, right? But if I go to X, Y, the same story, the same stream water parameters are just conventional uh, X, Y uh, magnetizations. That's what I was saying. That there is no, uh, there is no a wall between unpen uh, the, the unpenetrable wall between these topological states. It says it. This is related to the choice of 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 basis in, in many sense. And that, for instance, for X, Y. X, Y dash Kitai chain, you, you can see it basically as you know, simple exercise. And very similar, we, we have it. Um, the other problem, which I would say is that it's not always obvious uh, how we can find the um, dual model to see whether, I, I'm, uh, that's why, why I said, I don't have basically an exact statement. Um, I think that it can be done, but I don't have a, a regular statement saying that I can always 
uh, bring this order to to this order, vice versa. It's yeah, but it's it's pretty much uh, I guess I think we made a pretty strong case uh, in, in order to to argue this point. And then, okay, when when that's the case, uh, what about the both boundary correspondence in the dual theory? Well, that, that's what I was mentioning, right? So, so ba basically, um, uh, uh, like my kind of a little extremist point of view, I, I, I don't need it, in fact. If I, if I have this picture, I, I don't really need it, but, uh, but I can do it, but this is sort of complementary. Of course, we can always do this uh, analysis, like for instance, I mentioned, I can um, look at the um, uh, Topological winding number, and actually, this can be related to the roots. Whether the roots are inside the unit circle, then we can have um, by using the transfer matrix method. Then we can show that we have localized uh, Majorana states because the transfer matrix for localized Majorana states, uh, the um, eigenvalues are related to those roots. And, and when the root is less, less than one, then you can have localized state. So then you can talk about these uh, uh, age effects. So in fact, I didn't mention, this is this paper, which uh, we are about to finish. Um, uh, I just mentioned uh, only part of it and then we'll be showing uh, basically behavior of this Majorana age states, et cetera. So, so it can be done, it can be done, but, uh, uh, but uh, those are frameworks which are complementary, but but I, 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 like I said, it's not necessary or imperative to calculate this in order to understand it. I'm trying to uh, bring the situation more kind of Landau-like paradigm. Great, thank you. Any other question? I have a, a small one about the uh, uh, possibility to observe some effect of the uh, string order parameter, for example, or when uh, it is possible to have, for example, uh, uh, spin parallel system with dimerization, uh, you can apply the field in weakly coupled chain system. Yeah. So uh, at uh, what extent we can see uh, any kind of uh, these uh, effect in uh, such uh, yeah. concrete realization of the uh, which uh, strongly uh, correlated electron. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning. So basically, in, in the, basically there are papers uh, which um, uh, which uh, probe the string orders. Like uh, mm -hmm. I know that they, they do it for bosonic uh, models, like kind of on the on optical lattice uh, papers um, about ten years ago. First one, they basically. Uh, uh, see the string orders. Uh, uh, the other thing is basically uh, because this can be related to the Thomas question. That also can be seen in the H states of these Majorana H modes, and 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 this because it's a wave function they, uh, with some penetration lens, etc. So that, but from what I know, there are no clean cut observation of Majorana H modes. So maybe I'm mistaken, but at least like the, there is this is active field of research. Coming back to your question of spin part for, so for these letters, right? So, um, so we have uh, basically uh, uh, one of the things, yeah, these letters, if they, uh, they, uh, that's how this immersion happens. And maybe like a spin pile transition where this immersion happens, and then we can play with the field and at least like observe those phase transitions. Uh, maybe it's more complicated question whether we can measure that those uh, strings or brains but at least uh, we have this prediction just to see a gap closure. So I would say that for the first step, I would just uh, be happy if we can uh, basically find the good compound. And um, for instance, we have this um, uh, quite rich phase diagram where we have uh, like, uh, this is basically anisotropic ladder with the musician. Imagine that this is spin piles, right? So when spin piles, the um, uh, demerization grows, so we can cross different lines, and then you have uh, magnetization, uh, and then no magnetization. <laughs> let's say string order. So at least, like, um, 
yeah, this this might be uh, interesting thing to 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 measure, and I uh, I don't know yet. Uh, basically, that I, I hope I will uh, talk to experimenters experimenters here with Louis, <laughs> etc. Uh, so how we, this can be really measured because that's what most interesting question: how these strain or brain orders can be basically uh, measured. Mm. Okay, donc sinon, uh, on va remercier uh, Yannadi pour son. Merci. Merci. Merci.